Hi, this is my video on how to make a parachute type timpani mallet. First I'm going to talk a little bit about the materials I used. The first thing is a half inch wooden dowel rod. I found this at Lowe's. Um, they come in about four feet sections so I just cut this down to 15 inches. The second thing I used was these little wood buttons that are used for making furniture and I drilled a half inch hole in one of them to insert the rod and then I used wood glue and super glue to glue the other one on top. And then I also have my felt which I just found at any craft store. I found mine at Michael's and it came in a pretty long sheet. You're not going to need too much for this. I bought it in orange because it's pretty. Uh, wood glue to glue my stuff quilting needles for the sewing. Uh, the quilting needles work good because they're sturdy and they tend to have bigger eye holes. And then this is actually braided jewelry wire, but uh, I know that DK Percussion suggests you use like a fishing line or what's called spider wire, but this is just like braided fishing wire, so it works just as well. And I have my needle threaded already. Now. The first thing I did, I mentioned before, is I drilled the half inch hole in the wooden button and then I glued them together. I let them set overnight just so I wasn't destroying my work. And then I just used super glue and wood glue to fit the wooden dowel into the hole. And there I have my core for my mallet and my actual stick. On top of that, you'll see that I have a little bit of felt here. All I did was lay my core down flat on the surface and I traced a circle around and then I cut that out and then I traced another circle slightly smaller and cut that out and then I just glued it on the top here. This helps to get a little bit more rounding around the core when you put your final felt on. Uh, the next part was a little bit more complicated and this is the final result. I took the felt and you lay your mallet down on the felt you pull it up on either side so you meet the stick in the center of the core and then you trace a square out about how much you need so that it reaches on all sides of the core when you pull it up. Uh, then from there use that uh, square to trace a circle on that and you cut out you'll end up with a simple circle about this big matches up with your core can be folded around. Then from that most felt if you're using the right type of felt, you should be able to find a natural split in the felt. And this is what's called a butterfly split. And you just work your fingers around and split about a fourth inch in, a fourth of an inch in. And then you split so you have two parts. So it's a butterfly split. So here's where I come to my actual mallet making, the final steps of the process. On this inner circle, it's kind of hard to see but you cut little notches on this inner circle here about a fourth of an inch in and then a fourth of an inch apart so you go all the way around until you meet yourself so now you have your inner circle and then you have your outer circle which is unnotched now your next step for this is where you're going to take your fishing wire and your needle or whatever type of wire you, ha you had I'm using the jewelry wire I can find the end of it. And you're going to thread these notches all the way around. Now we're getting to the actual steps of the notches which I mentioned before at the end of the last video. Um, you want to cut about 18 inches of fishing wire. I left myself a couple extra inches in case I screw up. And then you want to have about 3 inches on the end when you thread your needle and you do not want to tie a knot. You want to leave this and because it's fishing wire it's not going to move too much. Now in each of these notches you want to thread your needle about in the center of each notch, not too far from the edge, um, probably about 1 eighth from the edge just so you get a firm hold. You don't want the needle to pull out through the felt. So you want to make sure your felt's thick enough to do this as well and you want to go along and make each of your stitches pull it through, it might be a little bit difficult and just keep looping it around through each of your little notches so I will be back when I do that because that will take a couple minutes okay so you did your inner circle 
and what you're going to do is you're going to fit that onto the core of the mallet and then you're going to single knot it and pull it tight and once you do that you're going to double knot it once you're satisfied with how tight it is and you're just going to um, move on to your outer circle where you're going to thread it the same way and you're going to thread it about a fourth of an inch apart again and about an eighth of an inch in as well making sure you're not pulling through the thread and you're going to thread it the same way as a notch circle except without the notches so I'm going to take a couple minutes to do that and then I'll be right back okay this is the final step so I threaded my outer circle and you can see it's already starting to bunch up because of the stitches and then you're going to do uh, before you do that you want to take this excess wire from your inner thing and you just want to trim that as close as you can to the knot and then you're going to take your outer section that you just braid it and thread it pull the needle off the end and you're going to single knot it once before you pull it tight you're going to hold it and then just pull down so it brings itself in around the mallet and get it tight as possible as you can and then you can knot it again and then you can knot it one more time just to make sure it's extra firm. you want to make sure that this is extra firm and tight as you knot it again now we almost have our finished mallet you have this excess here so you're going to take your needle again and you're not going to cut the thread yet you're going to re-thread both ends of the needle if you can or you can do this one at a time and again don't knot this and you're just going to insert it up through your felt so that you can hide the ends on this so you want to do it as close as you can to where you tied the knot and you just want to insert it up and pull it out about the middle and you want to pull all the thread through and it might be a little difficult because you're pulling through a lot more layers than you were before like I'm having trouble there we go you just want to pull that and pull all the thread up and then you're going to snip that and if there's any like thread or fishing line that sticks out you're just going to use the back of your needle and push it back into the felt or whatever works best for you so that it's hidden and smooth and gets pushed down in there and then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing with your other excess and because your knot should already be tied doesn't have any effect now you can if you have any extra fuzzies or anything you can trim your mallet to your liking trim the felt and also you can go back and 
voice this on an actual timpani and trim it to your liking so you get exactly what you want. And then that is your finished timpani mallet.